I love this lick. I saw Johnny Vodakovich, the amazing New Orleans drummer, do that, and I did what any intelligent drummer would do. I stole it. <laughs> so now, I integrate it into a lot of things. I saw him use it in the context of sort of jazz and New Orleans kind of thing. He was going back and forth between the two. And I use it kind of in that context, in a jazz context, but also in a rock and more straight edge thing like you might have seen in the intro of this video. Let's get into it, check it out, and you can use this really hip lick in your playing. So this lick is really like a variation of the three side of the clave. And that lick that you'll hear Johnny Vodakovich, Stanton Moore, a lot of those guys use, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So basically what I think happened, or at least my interpretation, is that he moved the right hand to the floor tom. He ends up using it around the kit, but in this case we're going to work on it with the floor tom. He varied that pattern slightly, and then the hi-hat, instead of playing it two and four with his foot, he plays it with his hand and gives it that really great sort of swampy, sloshy New Orleans kind of vibe to it. So here's what the hand pattern looks like. One, two, three, four. His right foot is a slight variation on the three clave. Normally you'd have one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. He changes just the very last note to play one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. So what winds up happening is that the first two bass drum notes line up with the first of the two doubles, one and two and three. And then the last note comes right before beat four. So the hand pattern with the foot looks like this. This is just the floor tom and the bass drum. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it's a little weird to get that last note in there. So maybe just play the first two notes, getting that left hand going on the hi-hat. And then you can add in the last note after you get it going. So this is just going to be starting with the hands, adding the first two notes, and then the last note. One, two, three, four. As soon as you get the feel for where that last bass drum note goes, you're going to be golden. Until then, it might feel a little bit awkward. It's still sometimes weird for me, like day to day. Sometimes I can do it. Some days I don't sound as good at it. So let's put the whole thing together just on the floor tom, getting that groove going there. And then after that, we'll move it around the kit. Right now, floor tom. Here we go. Now, you also want to be able to move that around the kit, because that's kind of what he was doing. He was moving snare down the toms. You can be sort of melodic with it, whatever you want to do. So this is now moving it around the drums. Each drum feels a little different, so getting that feel between the bass drum and where you're at with the tom can be a little awkward sometimes. Also, you're playing this hi-hat on two and four, which is a little weird also, but sounds totally cool when you get it going. All right, moving it around the kit. Now you can play just that figure as a fill or you can intersperse it with other stuff that you're doing. And as you become more comfortable with it, you'll learn how to weave kind of in and out of it. Also, you can use it in multiple styles. You can use it in kind of a funky thing. You can use it in kind of a jazz thing or you can use it in something that's pretty straight A as it goes faster, not swinging quite as hard. So let's do some examples of each one of those. First one, kind of funky. You can use it in a straight ahead jazz context. <laughs> this is 
This last example is a little phrase that I made up where I snuck that in at the end. I wanted to keep my hi-hat going with my left foot, so I ended up moving the left hand to the cymbal instead of playing it on the hi-hat. Just kind of a slightly longer phrase. Check it out. A really cool lick. Obviously, check out the source of this, Johnny Vodakovich, and we'll see you next time.